Hello everyone, so I'm back with another video and today we will be working on another flyer. I'm trying to be more consistent with making these videos because I enjoy doing them and we are so close to getting to 1,000 followers. So yeah, and I think we are at 6, like 6.17 and I need at least like 3 something. So yeah, but I'll be working on a wig flyer. It will be <clears throat> a wig, a wig on um, masterclass flyer. So yes, that's that's what it will be for today. And like I always do, let me go ahead and make the screen big. I mean, this box bigger for y'all, so y'all be able to see it better. Okay, so I have my box right here. And what the first thing I'm going to do here is go to my uploads. No, it's not in my uploads. It's in my folder, in my models folder, if I can find it right there. And I'm going to, I already know what picture I want to use, but I'm going to go ahead and just use this one right here. And I'm going to slide it up like that. That. <clears throat> so that's good. Okay, so we have that right there. And I'm not going to leave the um I'm not going to leave the bottom like with the sharp edges. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go to elements, just type in transparent gradient like we always do. As you can see, I have it right there. Let me close that out. And I'm not going to leave no matter of fact, let me go ahead. And I'm, I'm moving too fast. So what I'm going to do, I've got, I had to change the background color. I wasn't thinking at all. But my background color is going to be a dark brown. Now we can go back to our elements and add that. But like I said, I'm going to blend in that sharp edge at the bottom of that photo. And as you will see, like this. See, now you see that it's starting to disappear, which I like. <laughs> I think let me add like one more because I can still see it a little. Okay, so we have that. And <clears throat> what else we can do? So what I wanted to do here is I wanted to like add a money background like down here at the bottom. So let me but before I do that, I want to, I'm trying to find an easier way to do this because I'm not going to do it like that because I'm going to be adding let me push this to the back and see how it looks so okay now let me go and add another transparent gradient like that and what I'm going to do is it's still going to be the same color as I but before I do that I want to go ahead and make this transparent like this um i think that right there will be good enough as long as they can see the money in the background but i'm going to add like some more transparent i'm going to add another transparent gradient because of that um sharp line right there where i put the money at so that's what we're going to do now and i'm going to change that one to the color brown also why this thing don't want to do right today okay so I want to change that one to a brown and as you can see it's starting to blend in a little like that see voila now that sharp edge is where the sharp edge is going from both pictures okay so we can go ahead and add our text this right here shouldn't be a, like a very long video at all so I'm going to add that in the middle. I'm not going to keep it that font. And if you want to know, the font is called No Mark or Non Mark, whatever it's called, but it's right here and it's regular. So I'm going to add that's the font I will be using. And um, right here, I'm just going to put <coughs> We Master Class. And that's it. That's it. That's all. So I have that right there. And of course, I'm going to add 
another text under it, but it's going to be way smaller. And what is this the font that I wanted to use? I don't, yeah, yes, that's the font. <clears throat> okay, so right here I'm going to just type in what you learn. So we have that. Y'all, this one is, I think this one right here is like very easy. <clears throat> and after that, I'm going to go back to my elements, hit that box right there. I don't want to leave that white. I can, but I want it like that color. Um, we can leave this brown also. I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm trying to see what size I want this to be because that's the size all of them will be. And yeah. <clears throat> So that's the color I want to pick here. So I want to add another one, add another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. <clears throat> and if that's too many, you could just go ahead and erase it. But this one, I want to make a little lighter, something like this. You don't have to do this, but this basically, uh, I want it to go ahead and do it. So I got like different colors, or maybe no, I'm gonna just keep it everything the same. So I'm gonna just keep it like that. <clears throat> and like in the I don't know what that was it just well. Like in the boxes, you could put something like things you will be learning in that wig master class. Something like head measurements. Mm, we can add that. Okay, so we can add head measurements. Um, we can add. Why they ain't letting me? Oh, there it goes. We can add something like um, I'll, I'll uh, get tongue tied. Frontal, frontal wig. So let's type in frontal. Frontal wig, <coughs> wig structure. So that's it for that one. And we can add another one that basically says, um, what else you can learn from a wig class? A uh, wig, no, a wig closure construction, maybe. So just put wig. Construction. I mean, clo closure with construction. So, closure with. I think this one may be too long. So, I'm going to have to make the words a little bit smaller than the rest. But it still looks good. And what else we can basically learn? Um, you can learn how, I'm trying to think of, oh yes, bleacher knots. Bleacher knots. I don't know too much about wigs, but yeah. Bleaching knots. Oh, that's a bit wrong. Knots. Um, uh, we can learn something like curling. Uh, we can do that one. So we do curls. Or curling, curling. What else <coughs> can you learn from doing a wig install? So, I, mm, so what else? Ball cap method. So we can add that also. Mm. So let's do like. That's it. Ball cap map it, and that's it. And let me see what else you can either leave it like this, or you can add something else like go to your elements and you can use this circle right here. Let me drag it like right here, and you can add something 
like this basically would be the price of the class and you could change this to maybe like a dark brown let's see how that will look mm, that doesn't blend in too well so let me try something let's try this bring it to like a light brown then add like a dark brown <coughs> on top of it like that see how that looks okay so that looks better and you can also add let me see take that out okay add, like the class the class i'm just saying the class is like 500 dollars because you're getting i don't know so let's just put like something like 500 dollars what is this thing over there there we go 500 i'm trying to see if i want to like add yeah i think i'm gonna keep all of the um the fonts the same instead of having um having different fonts on it just make it looks better okay so we got the class will be like 500 and we got to have maybe let me see something here we can have like a $75 non-refundable fee. So let's just put $75 non-refundable fee. Mm. Oh, Lord, still spelling it on. this thing is too small so there is a nine I mean um a $75 nine refundable fee okay so we have that and you can leave it as is or you can add like some more stuff to it if you would like but yes this is basically how you would do a wing master class flyer and it's not hard at all if you want to know where I got the pictures from I got this picture right here of these models from Pinterest. I found it on Pinterest. Just you could type in something like wig hair models or something similar to that. But yes, that's it for this video. And I hope you enjoy. If you learn something, I, well, I hope you do. And if you're new here, please subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, please like, comment, and share this video. I would truly appreciate it. And again, thank you for watching. And God bless.